How to teach players to challenge their negative thoughts. As a grassroots football coach, your role extends beyond teaching technical skills and tactics, it also involves supporting your players' mental well-being. One significant aspect of mental well-being is addressing and overcoming negative thoughts, which can hinder a player's performance on and off the pitch. In this article, we will explore five strategies to help you guide your players in recognizing, evaluating, and challenging their negative thoughts, ultimately creating a more positive mindset. By demonstrating these strategies yourself and supporting your players through the process, you can create an environment in which your team can grow, both mentally and as footballers. 1. When supporting your players around negative thoughts, the first step is to be aware of them. Encourage your players to be aware of the thoughts that go through their heads, especially before, during and after games or training. Once they are aware of their negative thoughts, they can start to challenge them. 2. Help players evaluate their negative thoughts. Once players have identified their negative thoughts, you can help them to evaluate them. Are the thoughts accurate? Are they helpful? Are they based on evidence? By helping players to evaluate their negative thoughts, you can help them to see that they are mostly neither accurate nor helpful. 3. Help players replace negative thoughts with positive thoughts. Once players have challenged their negative thoughts, you can help them to replace them with positive ones. This can be done by teaching them to focus on their strengths, to be grateful for their accomplishments, and to look for the positive in every situation. Every circumstance can offer a learning point to move forward with. 4. Practice makes progress. Just like anything else, challenging negative thoughts takes practice, time and patience. Encourage your players to practice challenging their negative thoughts daily, even when not in and around football. This will help the process become a habit. Like anything, the more they practice, the better they will become at it. 5. Be a role model. As a coach, you are a role model for your players. If you want your players to challenge their negative thoughts, you need to model this behavior yourself. Be open about your struggles with negative thoughts, and share how they are mostly not accurate and how you challenge them. Nurturing the mental well-being of your players is a vital aspect of being a successful grassroots football coach. By teaching them to identify, evaluate, and challenge negative thoughts, you empower them to develop a more positive mindset, which can significantly impact their performance and enjoyment of the game. Remember that this process takes time, practice, and patience, and your role as a coach and role model is crucial in supporting their growth.